And so this is Merrick's Market, and it is a demo. Um, again, this one is available. It's going to be available on multiple platforms, but we are playing this on PC. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's supposed to be on PC, PS4, Xbox, and Stadia. I think that's what it's supposed to be. Um, but again, if you click on the... Um, if you use exclamation point GOTW or click on the link there, it will take you to the page for the game on Steam. Um, so you can see the game for yourself. Um, but we're going to play the demo here. Um, they do have a Discord, but I didn't get a chance to get the link for the Discord, but they are also on Twitter. Um, and I think it's at Merit's Market is their Twitter handle. So if you're interested in the game and you want to keep up with the development of the game, um, definitely head over to Twitter and follow them at Merit's Market. But let's go ahead and start up the game. So I've already started this, but we're going to watch this and it's dialogue, so I'm going to mute so you guys can hear the dialogue. Tess, it's always lovely to see you. Likewise, my travels are never complete without seeing your grumpy face. Where did you get to? Give me the gossip. It's been all about learning new skills. Woodworkers, potters, tanners, but most importantly, I've seen some crazy animals. Something called a turt hole. It was like a shield on legs. Long story short, I've written down everything I've learnt. Follow these blueprints closely and you should be able to make new items. Oh, I don't know about this. Don't be shy. Think of the customers. They'll love it. I'll put the blueprint books over there. I'd better hit the road. Until next time, Merrick. Thanks, I think. Come again. To Merrick. I hope this will give you the intro to crafting that you so badly need. Tess. The great philosopher Plato, I think once said, Crafting is the process of putting things together to make slightly better things. When a customer strides in and they want something crafting, they'll walk to and stand patiently at the crafting counter. An icon, like this, shows a customer's order. Get started by looking up how to make it in the... to make a stuff. You need to work with a log on a crafting bench. Next, place it on the crafting bench. I'm not an expert in the next bit, but holding the process button seems to turn the log into a staff. Give it a try. A staff. Fantastically useful for prodding customers or pretending you're a bit of a wizard or something. Pick up your new staff and hand it over to the waiting customer. Now for the unimportant part, getting paid. Some foolish customers don't want to haggle. Instead, just tap in a button pattern to handle their money. Well done. Enjoy your vast vast profits. Next up, pottery. Get back to the recipe book and get it. Pick up some clay first. Here's a little lesser known trick. 
you can press the throw button anyhow. Pick up the clay again and place it in the furnace. Then do the same with a piece of coal. To start baking, press the process button. The best thing about furnaces is you don't need to hang around while they bake. Just come back when they're done. Trying your best not to drop or violently throw the pottery, give it to the waiting customer. to the dialogue finish to start talking again. Every customer you serve without making a mistake will bump up your multiplier. Keep it going and you'll end up with much more money. That's it. Close this book and get crafting. Be good, Merrick. So as you can see, we're running a market here, and in this market, um, we're making the items that obviously the customers want. Process that. like um playing like um games such as like cooking dash or delicious emily which i like those games you know it's similar to those types of game it's a time management game i was trying to think of the actual genre but it would be time management and i've already played this once before so that's why I'm able to kind of go ahead and go through it a bit. Because I, again, before I run my streams, I do indie game moments to make sure the games are going to capture. So... might be in the gold setting. Yes! Tutorial completed. Prompts have been turned off. They can be re-enabled in the options. I think we have gold status though. Nailed it. Perfect! And then this is just the demo of this. So I'm not sure how long their demo is going to actually be. But I do know that the first thing asked is usually the chair. Because again, I played this one for my indie game moment. So I, I definitely remember some of the items that are needed. types of games always have and another thing too that I do like about this game like right now it's not over complicated but I do like when it comes to taking their money it's not just them putting money up there you know, it's them actually, um, you have to put in a sequence in order to accept their money. And I like that. You know, because in most games, 
gonna slightly just throw their money up there and then, you know. They throw their money up there and you just grab it. So I like the whole sequence. Another thing too that I think would be cool, cause like with the pottery, what I think would be really cool is if, um, like if you run too fast with it, it would fall out your hands and break and then you'd have to make another, um, you'd have to make more pottery, you know, be something nice to add, um, to make the levels more chaotic. They want a staff. Pottery. Oh, of course. customers done and out of the way, right? skip it. I didn't mean to skip it, but it made me skip it. But I think we still had um, code. We just didn't what you call it. We just didn't like 100% it. What's this? Oh, maybe not the... Oh, we're gonna be making belts now. You please grab the log. Okay, that was me. I goofed. <laughs> Why could you please grab the log, please? Okay, come over here. And it looks like we're gonna be making leather belts now too. So. How do I do that? Oh, okay. Really? Oh. That I was not expecting that. <laughs> was not as petty for it to do that. Okay, here's another one. 
we'll do this level and then uh <laughs> see what we got new um i was gonna say it doesn't look like anybody popped up yet oh here's tess i'm assuming okay so oh if this is dialogue i'm gonna mute the mic so you guys can hear the dialogue so good morning how's business hey lad Ah, uh, slow and steady. Same as always. Any oddball customers lately? This town is full of them. Yesterday, someone asked if we stocked toilet roll. <laughs> I'm fairly sure the toilet hadn't even been invented yet. Oh, well, you learn something new every day. I'd like the regular. Bread and milk, please. I've got the two crowns ready. That's two crowns, Merrick. Hint, hint. So wait, are we now cooking food? Spot on. Wait, what? Okay, it told me to go here. Why do you keep doing this, Merrick? That's way too high. You'd be surprised what some people will pay. I'm only being entrepreneurial. If you try to overcharge all your customers, they might walk out. Okay, I'm trying to get... Okay, it seems to not be working. It won't let me scroll back over. Let me see. Okay, it seems to be a glitch here. So we'll try it again, see if it unglitches, and if not, then, um, then we'll end the demo. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to do that. Good morning, how's business? Hey, Len. Any odd this town? Oh, I'd like the regular. That's two crap. Because we did all of that. Four to one. That, and then they wanted us to do three. Why do you keep doing this, Merrick? That's way too high. Yeah, this is Merrick's You'd market. be surprised what some people will pay. I'm only being entrepreneurial. If you try to overcharge all your customers, they might walk out. Okay, now it works. That was weird. That's more like it. Uh, listen and observe. It'll normally give you a good idea of what to charge. Be careful. If you highball, you might force customers into making a low counter offer. Right. That said, if someone walks in with a bowler hat and a fistful of cash, tactfully adjust your prices. Anyhow, I think there's someone coming in the shop, so let's wind this up. Good luck. Okay. Okay, see what's happening. Who are you? Oh, it looks like now we're gonna be serving foods. Hey there. I've brought the family along for a little shopping trip. <sighs> Welcome to Merrick's Market. How can I help you all? Let's see. Uh, Jess, my youngest daughter, is just behind me. She is the gentlest soul. I think she's been saving up a long time for this trip. I gave her a little extra too. Tara is the third in the queue. A bit of a problem, child. Mm. I'm sorry if it gives you any trouble. Got it. And what can I get for you today, sir? A potion, undiluted. It's a good little pick-me-up when I'm looking after this pair. I'm thirsty, but I'm not looking to pay too much. Okay. <clears throat> Tasty. Yeah, I'm not giving it to him for free. Okay. This is very interesting. Hello, little lady. What can I get you today? Please shut up, mister, and fetch me one of your finest axes, sis, please. An axe? 
<laughs> Ooh, yes. Okay. I mean, we just give a kids access now? Like, wait, what is going on? Like, that's crazy. Hey. Pleased to meet you. Lovely shop. Did you by any chance sell my sister an axe? Okay. Maybe. Oh, dear. I thought you might. Can't blame you, though. She pays better than me. Sling me some armor and pray I make it through the night. Thank you. I can't wait to leave home. I feel kind of bad for him because I sold her the axe. PS4, Xbox One, and Stadia, I believe is the platforms they're trying to get it on. Um, if you follow them on Twitter, which is at Merits Market, you can get information on more information on the game as well as joining their Discord um, that will give you even more information about the game. Um, but other than that, I thought the game was cool. I liked it. And because, um, like I said, it's a time management type game. And I like these types of games and it's different because it's not only do you get to run like making things for customers, but then you have that little kind of little side thing where you actually run the actual market and you sell actual items that are already, you know, done up. So I thought that was cool. Um, but again, this is Merit's Market. Uh, we are currently playing this on PC and this is a demo of the game. So again, because this is a demo, let me go ahead and say that the following live stream footage of Merit's Market is either an alpha version, beta version, early access, or demo of the game. Therefore, the footage you see may or may not be featured in the final version of the game. Also, there may be some noticeable bugs in the game. And again, a big thank you to Merit's, Merit's Market developer for reaching out to me and submitting the game for me to play on tonight's stream. 